Welcome once again, and for the last time this term, to uh, the Ockermity High School update to parents. Now, we didn't expect to be making an update at this stage, but so much has happened since the weekend. At the moment, we're sending out a number of group calls just to explain what the situation is, but we thought we'd make the video as well just to explain the scenario and what's taking place at the moment. So, this is what's going to happen in the next few weeks. Now, firstly, today, this is still the last day of term. I think all of our staff are extremely grateful for that and the children who have turned up today in very small numbers are clearly ready for Christmas, but this does mark the end of this term. However, it's the start of the next term that is now being made more complicated for us by the COVID pandemic that is still continuing. What will happen is that on Wednesday, the 6th of January, which was to be the start back to school, this will now be a planning day for staff. So no children will be in school on Wednesday the 6th of January. Now on Thursday and Friday the 7th and 8th of January there will be a limited number of children in school and those children will know that they've got to come to school by invitation or because you have completed the form which identifies yourself as a key worker and your child is entitled to provision on the, those two days, on the 7th and the 8th of January. Now, that means that for the vast majority of students in our school, the vast majority of pupils, that the first day back to school will be the 11th of January. However, provision at this point will not be in school. This will be online provision. Now, to find out what the provision is, you need to access Satchel 1. This is the new name for... Uh, show my homework and Satchel 1 will give you full details or give your child full details of the activities that are being prepared for them and made available through the week from the 11th of January through till Friday the 15th of January. So this is learning at home. As I've previously said, the only exception to that would be the small number of children who need to access education because they are children of key workers or they are vulnerable children who've been identified. Now, following this, on Monday, the 18th of January, we are expecting a full return to school. Now, clearly, this is subject to change because we cannot predict at this stage exactly where the course of this pandemic will have gone. But if the uh, partial lockdown has worked successfully, then we would hope to see a full return to school on January the 18th, that is a Monday. Now, there's not really much more I can add to that other than the fact that despite everything that's going on, I genuinely hope that you and your families will have a very, very good Christmas and a little bit of relief from the constant pressures that you've had to endure through this pandemic. Can I thank you all for the support you've given the school throughout this very difficult session and the ability that we've got to bounce back from this uh, which I'm sure is going to come about more and more in the coming year as we get through this pandemic. So thank you for all the hard work that you've put into this and let's hope that between home and the school we can keep all the kids going and make sure that they have a good Christmas and a successful uh, year in school next year despite all that's going on. So happy Christmas to you, good new year when it comes, keep safe and we'll see you all in the new year. Thank you.